What's going on everybody? I hope everybody's having a great day so far. So today, continuing with that rapid fire series on bongos, we're gonna talk about a quick little exercise you can try just to work on coordination and a little bit of speed. Oh yeah, you gotta love it. Y'all already know what day it is. It's Tutorial Thursdays. To all the new subscribers, welcome to a Percussion Life. My name is Eric Perez. Some of you already know that by now, but I just had to say thank you for subscribing. And I do hope that you enjoy these videos. And if you haven't subscribed already, just hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, find out whenever I upload. And yes, we normally upload videos every Monday and every Thursday, something new, something different, and something fresh. And it's normally things that you request. And to all my day ones, man, seriously, I appreciate and love all the support, all the comments, sharing the videos. And all of you that just watch the Taco Tuesday videos, even though you don't understand Spanish, man, that's just, that's just love right there. You gotta love it, man. You gotta love it. So continuing off with this rapid fire series, it's just quick little tutorials right to the point, not really getting into so much details, but I really wanted to share this bongo exercise on coordination and speed. But let me just show you this quick little exercise first. It's a tough one, man, especially on bongo stands, but uh, you gotta love it. So let me show you what I'm doing. Again, you guys are probably going to hate me because this is a very, very easy exercise, but these type of exercises are very crucial to build coordination and to build speed. So I start this exercise with three opens on the end, but I start with one open with my dominant hand, an open with my non-dominant hand, and then an open with my dominant hand. Now, since the last open is with my dominant hand, my non-dominant hand is going to start transitioning to the macho. And what I'm going to do is then open with my non-dominant hand and open with my dominant hand, and then to finish it off, and open with my non-dominant hand. So it's gonna sound like this. So to put everything together up to this point, it's gonna sound like this. This is really hard on stands. I, I underestimated this little exercise on stands. This is pretty crazy. But the point of this exercise is to actually do that two times. Because what you want to work on is going back and forth from a dominant side to a non-dominant side, back to a dominant side, going back to a non-dominant side. So basically, the coordination part is trying to make sure you're landing from each side to the other. So to just do two rounds, it's gonna sound like this. And the trigger is, after you do that open on the macho with your non-dominant hand, kind of like what you were doing on the embra, your dominant hand is going to be free and you wanna start transitioning to the embra to start doing the whole exercise again. So let me just slow it down for you so you can see that transition. And yeah, you guessed it, they're triplets. So it's three little notes, three quick notes that help you transition between one drum to the other. After you get that concept down, if you're feeling ambitious, just don't stop at two. Try three, try four, try five, try six. And what I mean is this.
Yeah, those little exercises, man, they can get annoying, but you got to love it. All right, y'all, y'all already know what to do. Like, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great weekend.